Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So, explanation why this video exists. For some reason, the live stream that I did last night is stuck on processing hell. I can only see the thing on my personal, on my account. I cannot see if I'm on YouTube without my account. I cannot see on my phone. I cannot see if I'm using my personal account, the one that I use to watch stuff, not this one. So, in all reality, yes, that video doesn't exist. So, I'm gonna take upon myself to redo that. I will keep the same style. The only difference is it's gonna be short because it's gonna be less rambling. But, well, here we go. And one thing, I will not do like I did. Because now I have the magical power of editing stuff on the screen. I will not do the same way that I did last night. And sadly, even if that didn't happen back then too, there will be very low interaction. So, let's talk what this video is about. Cyberpunk was nominated to RPG of the Year. A couple articles and interviews came up, uh, came out from, Cyber, from CDPR about Cyberpunk. And we had the month uh, on Monday, the 29th of November, the earnings call, and that was the major news that we have about Cyberpunk. And those news, of, of course, spark reactions on the internet. But, not only that, there is the fact that Cyberpunk got, uh, was on the Steam sale, the Steam sale did a good, uh, allow a lot of people to buy the game very cheap and those people who bought the game very cheap leave the reviews i want to start with something very simple for anyone who will say oh cyberpunk flop you're delusional cyberpunk didn't flop cyberpunk was a major success for cdpr in the same way that probably mass effect 3 was a major success for bioware and yes if you see the com the way I'm using that comparison, you will understand why my personal opinion. And that is already enough to click the like or dislike for some people and, well, leave the, a comment saying dislike. If anyone, if uh, you want, I will leave personally a uh, comment so you can use that. I'm yeah, probably gonna do that. Now, let's touch on one object point. That's not, well, let's go to a subject statement so we can go for an objective points about those statements. It's my personal belief that in give or take two years, more or less, Cyberpunk will have like two expansions or maybe one, I don't know. To be honest, I think it's going to be three years and they will have two expansions. And the belief from players will be that the game was overhyped by the community. It was the fault of the uh, the community itself for playing the game on old hardware. And day one, Cyberpunk worked great on PC. Now, before anyone think, oh, is that exactly what happened? No, that's not exactly what happened. But that is already a sentiment that exists under the community. And I'm not tell I'm not talking about just oh a bunch of people who play the game. I'm talking about people who have platform to spread that type of view. That's why I think it's uh, important to take this subjective statement, that's my personal belief, and see if objectively any of the this points sticks. The first point is, well, it's there. I can't predict the future, so I don't know how many expansions we'll have and I don't know when that will happen. But it's objectively to know, it's fair to assume, it, let's put it that way, that yes, Cyberpunk will have expansions, and after those expansions being released, Cyberpunk will create a bundle in the same way that a Witcher has, and sell by the $60 price tag. And then, people will revisit the game, again, with a full package, and then, people will look back at the game. With people looking back at the game, at that point, they will see what people told now. 
Yes, people from the future will look what we were talking about now. And yes, the sentiment that we have right now is the community overhyped the game, it's fought from the players for playing on the old hardware, and the game will run great on PC. Let's start on the objective fact of the last two statements. The PC version of the game runs great, worked great day one, and it's the fault of the players for playing on the old generation consoles. I want to remind people that Cyberpunk had its public life, let's put it that way, almost entirely on the old generation. This statement that I'm going to put is kind of debatable, because Cyberpunk is more or less a Schrodinger development time. Because it is eight years until someone decides that it's only two. When talking about the quality, people will say, look what eight years of development make. When people talk about the shortcomings, people will say, it's all, it was because it was only two years of development. So here is the problem. Cyberpunk was publicly announced in May 2012. There was a summer conference where CDPR announced they were working on a new project and they were wor and that project were was Cyberpunk. By the power of editing, I will do my best to place the announcement here partially, not entirely, but the link a link for the video will be in the description so you can see. The point that I'm going to to Highlight here is quite a few years on them. So if we would gather the the nice they spend at the office, it would be a few real time years they spend on this project. They are really seasoned developers. During that conference, it is said, Cyberpunk, uh, we have a studio of developers, veterans developers from Witcher, working for, on this project for years. If you utilize the lower denominator for years is so given that game was more or less under development or wor being worked on since 2010 therefore it's even long a uh, longer development time that we have public here's the thing nobody remembers this video that i'm telling this video doesn't have a lot of views this video doesn't the original video that i got to use this edit I barely believe anyone knows its existence. And one of the reasons why is there is a screenshot that I use from this video. On a couple of my old videos about Cyberpunk. And the thing is, I only saw this screenshot being shared around by me on a comment from Raz uh on a comment to a tweet from Razorfist. Later, on another conversation, Razor Fist utilized the same screenshot. It was the same. Did he save the one that I used? I doubt it. But this is the only two moments that I said. Then I saw this video being referenced. Now, here is the, inter the important part. Public, the image of Cyberpunk is... Cyberpunk was a game for the old generations that would receive an upgrade for the newer generations. I don't, in, yes, 2012, we didn't have the even highlight of a new generation of consoles. And, of course, the game was announced to the first release date be prior to the release date of the newer consoles, of the new generation. Yes, the upgraded model of the older generations already existed, but still, during the most public life of Cyberpunk, it was for the old generation, prior even to the upgraded. The second part about the statement of, oh, it's the fault of going back, of using the old generation consoles, is a misconception that, yes, the PC version works great. Performance-wise, yes, it does. The performance of Cyberpunk, it's better, but that does not mitigate the fact that Cyberpunk runs 
well, not perfectly, and there is still bugs, glitches, the economy was broken, there was a save that could, there was a save problem that if you achieve, uh, if your save was at some size, you would get the save corrupted, there was the fact that mods could potentially be a security breach on your computer, not only mods, but saves. So, telling that everything is was fine on PC is a lie. But, because nowadays we focus a lot on how the console was worst, there is not many people telling that the PC wasn't great either. There was only one person, and I truly remember talking how the how CDPR are the P the PR apology that CDPR released wasn't great simply because they were trying to mask the fact that the PC version of the game didn't run perfect like they were trying to portray. Because really, this is a narrative. CDPR is trying to create that narrative. A funny thing is, if you oh, CDPR is a, a good company. They were not create. They will not create com uh, narratives like that. Well, we are in patch one point three, and in their conference call, they confirmed they're gonna jump patch one point four, just because the patch one point five will feel like they made more effort. You see, the small things of the marketing never change with CDPR. That's a point. So, those are the more, more or less the two object, objective statements that we can go around. The fact that, yes, this game, it's fair to assume that people would want this to run on the, consoles, on the console that this game was announced for. Second, it's fair to assume that the PC version didn't run like butter. It had better performance, but bugs, glitches, broken economy, missing features, those things didn't solve itself when the PC version comes around. And yes, the PC versions had problems too. If that was not the case, there wouldn't be a large amount of patches. And remember, CDPR's statement is they were proud of the PC version on release, which still was broken in the same way. Now comes the more subjective term, that it is the overhype of the community. Again, now we're gonna use the, the screenshot that I said before, that says about the, the promise that Cyberpunk had. I will admit it one thing, the fourth one is the only one they said, oh, this one is the, the one that we are not going to be sticking too much on it. But all the rest, even that in some ways, can be considerably, considerably subjective. The first one, talking about an RPG. I don't believe that. I firmly believe that Cyberpunk is just bland. It's not a mature, it's a mature RPG. Because gore and boobs, but outside that, it's bland. It's something that we already saw so much before that I don't think it, it classifies for the height they are one they want to place. Non-linear story. Well, filled with life and detail. Well No. The story of Cyberpunk is like a week at most. And I'm not talking about a week of playing time, I'm talking about in-game. And it's not non-linear. You can say there is no difference. Why I say it's non-linear, it's simple. Yes, there is three main points of the story that oh, there are the things that you need to catch to go to the end of the game. You can tackle those in any order that you want, but there is no difference about it. That uh, That's not being non-linear, that's simply, well, you have a, a X amount of blocks, of Lego blocks, they have different colors, yes, you can build a tower with those blocks and your tower can have different colors than mine, but it always will be a tower, 
different than a uh, good storytelling that will allow you to build more than just the tower. And that's Cyberpunk for me. Again, this is the part where it's a lot more subjective. And the only objective part they said they wouldn't be hold too much. Gigantic arsenal of weapons, I again disagree. Uh, the paint job that should be given uh, the ability to the player to do the cosmetic customization and many of those are delegated to allow uh, an over-inflate loot table and that is it. Implants, we barely have many of those. It's a very dry system and there is no other uh, there is no other high tech gadgets on the game. It barely it dies there. It dies on the weapons and the implants. I will agree on the six. They set a new standards for RPG. The problem is the new standard is so low that you just need to stumble through. So, with that being said, this is the this is the uh, the whole point of the original video. Uh, the difference is it was bigger because it was on a screen, was less. It was less. I want to say organized, even if this one isn't. And I want to keep the same style. I don't want to do many edits. I don't want to do a script for this because I think that was one of the reasons why I scrapped this video so many times before. The simple fact that I try to keep too much scripted or and never feel satisfied with the video itself. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is it. Again, like I said in the beginning, believing that Cyberpunk was not a success is delusional. Cyberpunk was a success for CDPR, there's no questions about. They made money, they lose on stocks, but they made money no matter what. The point is, if we want to create a new Bioware out of CDPR or not. Because here's the thing, not only Bioware, if you want to use another example, use Blizzard as an example, use Bethesda as an example. Those lovely companies that can't do no wrong. Because if we keep giving a pass... Each time, then, the company do shit like that. Because, let us be entirely honest. CDPR lied about this game. A lot. And they are maintaining the lie. They are keep, they are keep lying more and more. If we keep doing that, if we keep giving the pass, we will end up with a new Blizzard. We will end up with a new Bioware. We will end up with a new Bethesda. Companies that... They are sacred, they can do no wrong, and people will defend they to the death. And look what happened to Blizzard, look what happened to Bioware. They fucked up badly. I want to also point out one last thing, uh, the No Man's Sky comparison. I think it's kind of more important to put that out there. A lot of people are saying, oh... Don't worry, CDPR will pull an No Man's Sky out of their asses and in a couple of years this game is going to be great and everything like that. I wanted to point one thing. First, No Man's Sky had a very similar launch. But, the period that we are seeing now with Cyberpunk, it's the period that we saw with No Man's Sky during one to two weeks prior to the release where anyone that criticized is blasted by being wrong and you have those over zealous persons defending because well they enjoy the game and here is the thing i do not let anyone myself included go around saying all the bullshit oh because this game's broken, you can't enjoy it. Fuck off, that's not the point. The point's not about your personal enjoyment. Because if you enjoy something, go for it. I enjoy Alpha Protocol, and that game is that gameplay fucking sucks, but I love that game so much. 
the point is to maintaining a little bit of accountability from the companies because like i said i didn't even touch on the point that i have the most gripe on cyberpunk i didn't even try to touch because i know that is extremely subject of and it's all about the personal enjoyment that someone will have. Like this topic will be fully on that. If you enjoy Cyberpunk, if you really love what you did, the time that you have there, you should want this game to be the better that it can be. You shouldn't just say, oh, it's perfect right now. Because I think you know because I think you're smart enough to know that it isn't. And if you mask this game has to be perfect, CDPR will accept that. And they will not need to do better next time. They admitted that on their conference call. We'll wait. We'll wait and see the new, with the new patch if we need to add new content or if we need to do fix. And that's the question. Like... If you enjoy something, remember, criticizing only will make that better. Will not detract from your enjoyment. If something that you love gets better, it's for the better. And I see a lot of people that kind of don't understand that. So, with that in, in mind, with that being the end... Oh, let's go back to the topic because I missed... No Man's Sky worked for uh, Hello Games worked on No Man's Sky for five years, and they didn't ask a dime from the community. They work for free, given uh, putting the game on sale every time they release a major update. And in the end, Cyberpunk is already selling, uh, already planning on selling to uh, one expansion. So don't believe for a second they will do the same. They will work on Cyberpunk until they sold the expansions. After that, bug fix because they have, and content will die. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Uh, this is the best that I'm going to get out of this video. See you next time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. This was the video. If you enjoyed, leave it a like. If you didn't, leave it a dislike. If you have anything to say, please leave a comment, and if you want to see what the hell is going to be coming next on this mess, subscribe, and see you guys on the next episode.